Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Hope you are keeping healthy and well during this pandemic. If you're thinking of how to record a teaching video, showing a writing, your annotation on an iPad, with or without your FaceTime video in, this is the ScreenFlow you should consider. So stick around and find out how ScreenFlow 10 can make your life easier. First of all, the logo of ScreenFlow 10 is different from the earlier versions. In the earlier version, it's purple and green. You can see on the side. Whereas the logo for ScreenFlow 10 has got the orange and purple. So that's the little change in the logo for ScreenFlow 10. I've been using ScreenFlow for about 5 to 6 years now. So I'm quite excited when ScreenFlow just released its 10th version a few weeks ago in, in June. Uh, I've given it a spin uh, and love some of its sparkling new features. Uh, well, it makes my teaching video looking good and save time and improve my productivity as well. In this video, I'm sharing three new features of ScreenFlow 10. There is new recording layout for multi-app, video background removal, and beautiful animated titles. Uh, there's a library for it. And the background removal video for me is a big, big advantage. You can see some services offered to remove the background of your video and it could get really expensive. So I'm quite excited to see the release of the video background removal in ScreenFlow 10. Also in this video, I'm giving you a glimpse of uh, my workflow in producing a teaching video in ScreenFlow. Okay, so let's take a look. To start the ScreenFlow, you simply go ahead to the ScreenFlow and you can go to configure recording. Once you click on that, uh, you see this little uh, window where you can choose what you want to uh, record. So in here, you can uh, first, there are here four options. You can remove this by simply clicking the X button. Yeah, you can just remove uh, any of these. I want to just record my face, so I'll just have a FaceTime HD camera and just the clear microphone. And with microphone as well, you can change accordingly. There's a lot here that you can uh, choose uh, if you have more microphones. Um, in here as well, um, now I have my iPad in. I can just simply use the, the cable, uh, the charger cable. Yeah, I can just stick it into the um, uh, my MacBook here and with the iPad. So when I want to use iPad for uh, teaching and I want to use iPad to record my uh, lecture, uh, what I do is simply in ScreenFlow, I can click on plus and I can just add the iPad. Double check, FaceTime on, get the microphone is on, then the iPad is on, then I'll just uh, click um, recording. It'll tell you uh, the apps that is uh, being recorded. So I'll just have the iPad here and I have my good notes on already. So for example, in here on the good note, I can just simply uh, record my screen, my iPad screen. So here I can uh, just scribble if I want to. I can click any of these. It's done there, it's the, the yellow uh, scribbling. I can also highlight as well. And once I've finished recording my uh, iPad, I can simply head to the flow. I can click on stop recording and it goes straight into the editor here. And what I do next is, so in here, usually I'll just go straight to save iPad recording. Save the file. Uh, the next thing I'll usually do is I'll detach the audio. Because I like to process the audio um, separately from the uh, FaceTime. And then I'll simply just actually go for smooth volume levels. I click on this. Yep. And then I'll also remove some background. Usually about 50, 30 to 50 percent. All right. Let's hear that. So it's quite good to me already. 
so now I'm going to show you the uh, second new feature in uh, ScreenFlow, which I like very much. Uh, is I can if I'm going to use this tutorial, okay, this recording, I can then click on my um, FaceTime camera recording. I go to video. I go right to the bottom where it says filter and effects. Okay, so now you can see the effects of um, the FaceTime video. There's uh, for the color effects, there's a uh, uh, Mars burn, yeah, uh, the, uh, desert, and so on. And um, what the one I would like to show here is that uh, you can remove the background. Let me just show you. I'm going to click on automatic and I'm going to add the effects. Oh, that's different. Let me just remove that as well again. Go to automatic add. So you can see that it immediately removed my background. Uh, you know, no longer see the my my room. And and then uh, what's fantastic is I can then put it in here or anywhere that I like. Uh, so this this is I think really cool effects. Let me just play that. Uh, the apps that is uh, being recorded. So I'll just have the iPad here. You can see sometimes that uh, you can you cannot see my head there. As long as I use a contrasting color, then I think it will be able to to uh, you know detect the, the differences and it give you a better effects than what I'm wearing at the moment. Okay, so in here, uh, what I like again, if I prefer to not share really my background, I can blur it. So you can go back to just click again on the um, the FaceTime video uh, and then I'll go to background, I'll go to blur. So here, if I scroll down, I can also choose the amount of blurring that I prefer. So I'm going to just do that. Okay. And then I'll make it smaller. Okay. And I can just go to option key and just crop it a little bit. So then I let's just play and see. And I'm opening uh, to Okay, so I think I like that effects, the blurring uh, background effects. Right, so the second feature I'd like to share with you. The third feature, new feature in ScreenFlow is that uh, the headlines. So the headlines here, you go to text, where it used to be just text, but now I can click on that uh, drop down uh, button. There's an option of title. Let's add a title to this uh, recording. So there are a number of options here. You can uh, just hover over your mouse cursor and it show you the animation. And I think they are quite cool actually. They are quite cool. I think for someone who is like me, who uh, don't study animation, I can use it straight away. And I think it's a good enough option for me uh, at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go to this one here. Click on that. And I select it and then I can just put in very short concise title so for example here is on the tutorials uh, the heading is tutorial for this uh, course we can go here as well you can choose and see how they are different options so you can see the differences here just use your cursor, your uh, left and right cursor uh, button and you can uh, just browse through the different effects. Okay. I'm going to go back to the one that I like just now. Okay. Right. And then... Okay, let's just see whether I can do that. Okay. So it's a bit hard and just need to be exact, delete that space and I can go to subtitle, I can go remove that and I'm going to put down there uh, medicinal chemistry, for example. Okay, and at the same time you can choose the colors, choose different colors, pink, really bright, fuchsia. And here, maybe I'll go for something a bit lighter. 
that's okay and I can also choose the colors here let me just see what are the colors I can choose it's not apparent here but I think it will come out in the effects so I'm gonna stick, stick to the original color white okay you can also change the color of the text in here so say tutorial can change to black but I prefer to keep it as white that's give a good contrast already and I'm gonna keep medicinal chemistry as white as well let's add okay so it's added to here so now I'm gonna just go to his and uh, give a bit of space maybe about two seconds around that and then okay let's see let's play it's a bit small now so i'm gonna make it bigger put it somewhere in the middle all right i think that's about okay let's have a look it'll, it'll tell you so it's nice then yeah it's not too bad actually it's not too bad so i'm gonna uh, also click all this i'm gonna move it a little bit there okay and then okay so that's the end of so edit it a bit put it back in let's see play all right that's nice Tell you. okay so that's that's the introduction that's the intro and here, if you click on that one, you can it'll take you to this uh, menu again where you can further edit, edit it. So here, I, I'm going to just turn off the built up. So just built in and let's see the effects. Good. I think that's the first, the first um, few things that I can uh, further adjust it a little bit later. Okay, so what else? There are some small changes uh, on the screen for layout. If you go back to a video, what happens is that there's no longer the square and rectangle where you can actually change the setting or scale up the, um, the background or the video here. So the menu is now is on the right click. So click on here, you can scale to fit, you can stretch it. Let me just click on this, it's actually quite uh, you can't really see it because then it's not shown properly. So there, skill to fit. All right. So right click. You can, let me just do it again so that you can see the difference. You can stretch it. Stretch it to the entire canvas. It's the same thing. It looks like from here. You can reset. So reset. Let's see, reset. So it's like that. Okay. If I change the canvas now, the canvas now is not on the bottom. All right. The canvas now, if you want to change the dimension, of um, your video yeah that's the, be the fifth feature now it has gone to the top side whereby it's actually here uh, you can click on this and now it appears at the bottom and then you can start changing the the canvas of um, your uh, your video all right so say I want to put it at uh, 920 to 1020 uh, for this video maybe a bit smaller and I click on that and just click OK. And here I can, so instead of going this side and click on the uh, different uh, settings, um, I can just simply uh, right click and skill to fit. Yeah, it'll fit around that. Or let's see, scratch, stretch it, stretch it. Okay, let's stretch it to the to that canvas. And then I can then um, put my video there. Okay. And the same thing, I can just use my cursor to just um, uh, zoom in and zoom out into that. Okay, I think um, that would be uh, it for new feature, big and small, which I feel that is going to be uh, useful for your workflow in ScreenFlow. And so far, what I have enjoyed the best would be the, the first two that I've shared with you. The first one is the blurring effect. Uh, with the right um, contrast of my uh, clothing, I can then also take advantage of uh, the uh, clear uh, effects here. Yeah, clear the whole thing, clear the background. My second favorite feature, new feature in ScreenFlow is this one. 
Uh, and I think it's quite cool uh, when, uh, especially when I have uh, videos uh, that I probably don't have much idea or creative ideas on how to um, do new creative intro and outro, I can simply use this. Right, so let me know what you think about new features in ScreenFlow or whether the new features help improve your uh, workflow in ScreenFlow. Click like and subscribe to my channel. So I see you in the next video.